Today we're going to talk about the microscope and uh, the different parts of the microscope and how to use the microscope correctly. Okay, so here is my microscope. This is a compound light microscope. Um, this particular microscope will magnify image uh, at three different levels. It uses light and then it also uses multiple lenses to magnify the image so that you can see it. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to talk about the parts of the microscope and then we'll talk about how to use the microscope correctly. Okay, first thing. We'll start here at the top and then we'll work our way on down to the bottom. First part of this is the eyepiece. This is where you look through to see the image. Um, that is being displayed on the stage, whatever you're trying to see, whether it's a cell or maybe something that's very, very small, you're going to look through right here, this particular part called the eyepiece. This is also the first place that the image is magnified. The image is magnified ten times right here at the eyepiece. So immediately the image is ten times larger than it is just looking with your normal eyes. Okay? Um, this is uh, the tube. Okay? Uh, you look down through the tube, and then you're going to look through these three uh, things right here. We call these three things objectives. These are objectives. There is a low power objective, medium power objective, and high power objective. Each one of these objectives is going to magnify a different amount. So we'll start with low power. Here's the low power objective. It has a red band on it. This particular objective magnifies the image four times. Okay, so all I do is I simply magnify that number four times, times the number of uh, magnification here at the eyepiece, which is ten times. So ten times four is forty times. So on low power, the image is going to be enlarged forty times greater than it is if you just look with your normal eyes. Okay. The next objective is the medium power objective. It has a yellow band on it. The medium power objective magnifies the image 10 times. Multiply that with the eyepiece, which is also 10. 10 times 10 is 100. So when you're looking through the microscope on medium power, it magnifies the image 100 times. Okay. Lastly, we have the high power objective. It's kind of got an aqua color, aqua blue colored band on it. The high power objective uh, magnifies the image 40 times. So if you take that with the eyepiece, which is 10, 10 times 40 is 400. So the high power objective magnifies the image 400 times greater than it is just looking with your normal eyes. Okay, working our way on down, this big black area is called a stage. Okay, this is where you place uh, a slide, whatever specimen that you're looking at place it on the stage. Okay, In the middle of the stage there is a hole. That's very important because that's where the light shines through. On the stage you have these little metal clips. These are simply called stage clips. Okay, There are two stage clips, one on each side. Okay, They are used to hold the, the, the slide in place uh, so it doesn't get bumped or um, accidentally knocked off. Okay, um, Below the stage and we always forget about this because it's uh, kind of out of sight, is the, this little dial. Okay? This little dial right here that rotates. Okay? This little dial is called a diaphragm. It has five different holes, five different size holes in it that allows different amounts of light to shine through the stage. Okay? Sometimes you want to use more light to help you see an image. Sometimes you need less light. Um, sometimes too much light can drown out the image and it makes it harder to see. Here at the bottom, we have the base. This right here is the base, uh, obviously what the microscope uh, sits on. This large knob right here is called the coarse adjustment knob. The coarse adjustment knob is used to make very large focusing adjustments, uh, very rough focusing adjustments. You will not get the image in real fine, sharp focus with this knob. It's just for made uh, for moving the image quickly uh, in and out of focus. Um, here is the fine adjustment knob. The fine adjustment knob is used for that real sharp uh, focusing to get your image real, real clear. Use the fine adjustment knob. 
Underneath the stage, we have this right here. This is our light source. Okay, um, light source provides light to shine through the stage and then all uh, up through the objective and then through the eyepiece so that you can see it. Our light source. And then lastly, we have this part right here. This is called the arm, okay, of the microscope. Uh, this is important because this is how we carry the microscope, which we'll talk about here at the end of the video. Okay, so those are the parts. Let's go over those again real quickly. Eyepiece, objectives, low, medium, and high power objectives. Stage, stage clips. Underneath, we have the diaphragm, okay. Um, base, coarse adjustment knob, fine adjustment knob, light source, and then arm. Okay, very good. Also, we have a couple other things that uh, we use. This is a slide. They can either be plastic or glass. This one is plastic. It makes it a little bit more durable, but I can also use glass as a slide. I would put my specimen on here um, so that I can put it on the stage so I can see it. This right here is a cover slip. Cover slips are used to cover up the specimen on the slide. Okay, that way uh, it keeps it uh, in uh, in view and makes it easier to see. Okay, we also have what's called prepared slides. This is a prepared slide. Okay, this particular prepared slide is of frog skin. So if you want to look at what frog skin looks like up close, you could look at this particular prepared slide. Okay.